I think Coach Prime said it the best. He said, I'm here, and I'm about to get comfortable in a minute. That's what the glasses are. Some of y'all think I'm trolling with the glasses. That's not it. The, the glasses is just a different tw- type of swag. When I wear the glasses, you know I'm feeling some type of way. And I wanted to bring this out because this is going to be quite the week, and I can only imagine what it's going to be if we lose to the L.A. Rams, which we won't. We won't. It's too much on, at stake for both the city of Detroit and the individual players on the team. But I wanted to bring something to your attention. And this is why you can't trust what you see on the internet at all. Now, I know this can be a very kind of touchy subject. Fandom is something that you can't explain. It, it's, it's, this, it's this love and this emotion and this passion for a game that is played with people that we don't know on a personal level. But I think that's what make it, makes it so great. Is because we can see these people in the street and we know who they are. They have no idea who you are, right? They have no idea. They probably could imagine that you're a Lions fan, especially if you wear a Lions, some type of Lions apparel, but they don't know who you are. But yet, you know, pretty much a, like a, a lot of stuff about them. You can recite all type of stuff. Aiden Hutchinson, 11 and a half sacks. And he's like, well, your name? You're like, who are you? Right. But. I want to show you the difference between like passion and when you capitalize on things that are trendy. Okay. So first of all, let me shout out my guy, man. Uh, when I say my guy, just a guy that, that stepped up and said something. I said something a few days ago when I saw this and, um, but you know, he has a bigger platform than me and this is coming from Colton Pouncey's Twitter account. Now, first of all, let me, let me go here. I want, I want to go here first. All right, this is coming from a sports, it's called the Detroit Line, a.k.a. the D-Line. And don't worry, I'll say something on Twitter as well, because I don't back down from anything. It says, we are calling for a Stafford, a Lion Stafford jersey ban on Sunday. It's time to put SOL in the ground, okay? And then down here, it says jersey ban. Now, I want you to pay close attention. The D-Line, Lion Stafford jerseys will not be permitted into the field on Sunday. Okay, are right, you like, yeah, man, that's what's up, bro. Somebody who's standing up for, it's, it's about time. Somebody who's standing up for something. But I, I want to show you something, the good old D-line. And let me, tell, let me show you what they, who they really are. This here from two years ago, when Matthew Stafford is going on their run, his, his run, this is from Pro Sports Zone in Laurel Park, uh, Laurel Park Place, Six Mile in Newburgh for all my local people, okay? The, they are the, the same brand that is responsible for the Detroit Rams phenomenon that took over the city in 2022 as Matthew Stafford was going on that Super Bowl run. As this TikTok, there, it's right there on the bottom, the, D, the Detroit line, the D line. And you'll see it one more time right there. There's their TikTok logo. And it's going to pop up on the bottom of the screen. Let's wait one more second. And it's, it should pop up right on the bottom of the screen. Now, first of all, the song that they're playing, the Detroitist theme by Distinct Life featuring 6AM. Fantastic song. If you might notice, if you watch Syndicate Sports Detroit and Spike Kool-Aid, you know that that's the song that I use in the intro. It's fantastic. Shout out to YouTube's revenue sharing program. But this is why you can't trust Trust what you see online and anything. Any, this is why I refuse and I, I question when people have this undying love for Matthew Stafford. This is the same company that sold these shirts out. Now, I have a Fanatics U by my house, and this probably won't be the best thing to say. And I've been to Pro Sports Zone quite a bit. Both of the, the places, the Fanatics U and Pro Sports Zone, they sold this merchandise. Now, I know this might not be a smart business decision for me, but if I was a, a Detroit sports owner, there's two things that I wouldn't have in my, in my shop. <laughs> Other teams' merchandise and the Detroit Rams' merchandise. That would not happen, okay? Maybe, maybe I'll have like a little, a little spot in the corner and don't steal this idea. But it, and if you do, if you make clothes and you steal this idea, at least throw your boy some love. I would have a little dingy corner in the back and it would be on purpose. It would be like um, something. I'd put something. I have a like a little, it'll be a little structure, a little room. Um, you know, back in the day, 
when they had video shops, you had a little room that you could go to. It was closed off from everybody. Now, I've never been in that room, but I'm saying all my old school people know what I'm talking about. Um, I would have a room like that, and it would be real dingy, real ugly looking, and it would be like uh, other teams' apparel. And you would go in there, and it would be, you know, it wouldn't be like raggedy on the inside, but it would be dressed up on the outside. Like, I would make them afraid to go in there and and kind of make make a little joke. That might be a smart business move. Now, was this a smart business move? It was. I mean, I make videos of trendy topics, right? But y'all know I'm a fan. Y'all know I'm a fan of the team. Y'all know that, right? So, and every video that I've made is some somehow, some way, coming back to the city of Detroit. This here, this whole thing is, I've never seen anything like this. This, LA, this Detroit Rams thing, I have never seen anything in my 44 years of life like this. <laughs> and if you just watched the video I just did, the 20-minute video, you know Matthew Stafford don't care nothing about the city of Detroit on the football field. He is a killer. He is a killer. So you can't trust what you see on the internet, and that means everything. Even if you hear that, Somebody might have a substance abuse problem. You can't do your research yourself, man. Figure it out. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. I'm feeling some type of way, and it's going to be like that all week.